Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to install STM32 ST-Link utility, this one, and then use this to identify STM32 board types and also identify STM32 faulty boards. To get the ST-Link utility in the web browser, type ST-Link utility, this one, and this is the one, click this. Uh, get software, uh, get latest. If it is the uh, first time, you may need to fill your name and email address and they will send a link to download link and from the email at email you can download but this is my second time, it's already downloaded for you. So uh, we can click this, click extract all extract after extract double click this and uh, click setup uh, sorry double click setup click yes You minimize all of them. Click next. Yes. Next. Here is the one. Click next. Click install. Finish. Finish. This is the one. We can double click this one to open. It is open. It work. All works good. If you have an error like this, like the like MFC 140.dll was not found. You can go to this web address and install this file. I show you. Type this one. Uh, that's in the description below also. And then click download. You need to install this one, the second one, x86. And click this. And uh, click this. And then you can install this then it will work. Now we can close and we can open it again. I have four different microcontrollers here. We're going to check each one of them using this ST link. When you hold this one, we connect these wires, blue, black, yellow and green. And this side, it goes like this way and it goes here also like that same like same here and same here so we connect one by one let's start with this one here now we can insert the ST link into USB and then we open it again Now we click target and connect. Now if you get something like this, so the chip is working and the device family is STM32F10XX, medium density. Now we check the next board, we close it and we can remove the ST link.
Now we use the next STM32 board and then start again a target connect. Now this board it is STM32F10XX low density. Now we can close. Now I have plugged in the next STM32 board. We open it again and click target connect. This is STM32F411CE. Now I have connected the fourth board and open it again. Ta click target connect. That is STM32F401. Now we can close and I'm going to connect a faulty board. Now I have a connected a faulty board and we open it again. Click target and click connect. So for the faulty board, it doesn't connect and it, it gives error like this. Let's summarize. This is the summary. This way you can identify the board. If you want to upgrade the software for the ST-Link, you can do like this. You can insert the ST-Link without the board and open the ST-Link utility. Click ST-Link, firmware upgrade and device connect and then yes. And it will upgrade the software. In the next video, we will see how to upload a hex file to the STM32 board through ST-Link utility. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.